A sincerely wonderful good morning to everyone, and welcome to today's stream. My name is Decaf Nvidia. I'm a video game streamer who primarily plays RPG games. I am also a hobby voice actor and singer, so you'll hear me do one or both of those things during the stream. My pronouns are he, they, and it's time for a bit of New Game Plus, I think. So, to those who aren't aware, I've actually played this game on stream before. In fact, we got all the way to the end, and uh, you know we were able to actually see pretty much all of the possible endings. However, I am a completionist, which does mean that... Uh, what's the word? I kind of want to get all the achievements. And two of those achievements are tied to uh, doing another run. The first one being a specific item we get in one of the last chapters. The second one being, well, just playing New Game Plus. So we're going to go ahead here and, uh, you know, get right into that. So, to those of you who, uh, you know, aren't familiar with the game or weren't here for last year's stream back in October, this is the Crooked Man. And uh, I did, again, play through the entire thing. So, no worries about spoilers here uh, too, too much. Because we will be playing from the very beginning again. Just be forewarned, uh, content warning. Uh, this deals with topics of grief, depression, um, self-hatred. Not a lot of it, but there is body horror, as you can see in the title screen here. Um, abandonment and oh of course uh, misophonia because there are going to be a lot of crunching sounds and squelching sounds so if you're still here uh, yeah, that is my forewarning to you that's a little bit <clears throat> that's a little bit loud here but we can deal with that I also forgot what voice I gave everyone. I, I know I, would, I remember Dee's voice and I remember um, Paul's voice. I just can't remember what voice I gave the other characters. Did I give Fluffy just a generic child's voice? Probably. Well, we'll figure it out. About the series. This ends the Crooked Man, but the series continues with the Sandman, the Boogeyman, and the Hangman. Out of Society 17. Please try them if you like. Oh, David, that's his name, right. You can begin a second playthrough on the title screen. The story, battles, and franchise won't change. But some events toward the end will. Give it a shot if you want. Okay, so. That's what I was kind of curious about. Because for YouTube, I did lose the footage of the ending. Uh, just because back then, I hadn't hit affiliate yet. And was not able to like... Uh, what do you call this? Claim the, the footage before I could edit it into a highlight. Or anything like that. So the ending will change. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, there's no chapter select, it seems. Certainly, if I if I want to see the ending again, uh, I have to start from the, the normal playthrough, the same playthrough. I do wonder how they're different, though. I can play. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content. So... Refrain from playing if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules on the author's site, the rules on the site take priority, so please check. No repurposing resources except the author illustrations. No redistribution of game files except the translations. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. Yeah, uh, 
sadly I, I did lose the footage of, of the ending uh, so I will keep that in the ending of our new game plus here check the author's site for more information acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by the use of this software Oh, it's just a second play on the upper right here. Finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else you can help with, David? Nah, <laughs> I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We'd better get going. Got it. But be careful, you two. Oh man, here we go again. Huh? Ah, sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. You know how it is in RPG makers and point and click games. I always click on everything. Never know. I don't want to go. Oh, funny. That scripted to stop music, but uh, I don't think that was the music that was supposed to pause, but whatever. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? Hey, he wanted to move for a change of face, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? And not many places come in furniture. Besides, you told me to look for a place, right? Don't come complain to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just want to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Man, that is tough. Hearing anyone argue about you. Um, like, o overhearing that even by accident is like pretty devastating. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Oh, his ex-girlfriend. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. night. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. <laughs> Hang on, let me turn the game pause on. Testing, testing. Thank <laughs> you.
Is that better? Oh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just, I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Uh-huh. What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You don't want to start something? You're the guy moving to a four, right? There's no way you came in there. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Sorry for breaking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, there's a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. The water. Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under, under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Hello? Any hands we could hold here? They're just lying down back in the bed. Okay. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm? Oh, I found something. Found a scratch on the door. Ever since. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What is this? Did the former tenant leave this? Ah, whatever. Oh, good that. I'll get the bed. Sound still? Where is it coming from? <laughs> Give me a break. I need sleep. <laughs> Busy with work, so yeah, I'll come visit today. Shout that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept until noon. I'd better go. 
so much for taking it easy. Alright, the hospital's dead. Hey, Paul! Paul? What is it? Yeah, um... Uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Oh, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Uh, take care of yourself, buddy, okay? Oh yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? Sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, I'm off. we go again. Did David just shake? No, I can't stand you. Oh, he did. Because he's hearing things from Thor. you're there. This is ridiculous. Wow. Lots of arguments in the hospital. That's not good for the patients. Mom's hospital room. Hey there. How you doing? Mom! It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy. You've certainly grown. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off. And I'm over this great room. With furniture and everything. It's near your cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. I get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know now. I'm um, sorry. I'll make the best I know how. No, I just did line again. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make you the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh yes, they opened the bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from them. Oh. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Uh, Mom! Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her, okay? Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Baby, please? Mom! It's me! Remember? Mom! David, please, just leave for today. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. 
Mr. Hooper, please calm down. Bring us out of this. Hey, Doc. What's up? Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes. She's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can leave it there again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Just go to bed, yeah? desk. Did I move that chair? Huh? Oh, there's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Okay. That's good. Probably. I mean, how bad could it possibly be? It looks pretty old. Huh. These LLM courses are circle. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess it's supposed to be the former tenants. We sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Now we have a law school leaflet and a notebook strap. Hello? Oh, wait, no. David's voice. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, David. Hey, David. How are you doing? You just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine. Thanks. Good. Good. I call if you're ever lonely, okay? I can come visit with Paul. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told you your... Sorry, I told you your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See you. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Dang. Non-interactable. Okay. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, this is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Well, we're not really on water right now, so I don't think we're sinking. But they probably mean. The wash bay then. Oh wait, other sink. Kitchen sink. 
A sink. Hmm? Oh, there's a scrap of paper under here. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Isn't this a mother goose drive? Why is this here under the sink? Well, I guess the previous tenant left it here. So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. <sighs> Moving for a change of face, huh? Guess that's not, not working so well. I appreciate Ma Paul and Marion's help, but... Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? And what kid would live in these beat up apartments? Uh, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Startled me. Wait, what? No. Coffee spelling out. You gotta be. It's a g g g g g ghost. Zoinks! This room's really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Oh, I guess I went, went back to sleep. Yeah, I, I would just, like, book it out of there. But then again, you know, rent being as expensive as it is, I can understand why it would stick around. Um, hi. Paul? It's David. Yeah? What's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah. What? Do you know who used to live in this room? Yeah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady. Sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Okay, before I do that, though, I should save. I just realized I haven't saved this whole time. First floor, then. It's Mr. David, what seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he is a man about your age. He suddenly left a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and using, however. You would have happened to know where you went. I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. I just can't remember the name. I could draw it to my documents, find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. 
Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry it wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. Wrong room. Uh oh. Somebody forgot to take off their shoes before they entered the house. I thought they got a mopping and uh, detergent. You're gonna have to use Zim Cleaner for this one. But why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. This key's pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Hmm. Guys' voice, kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> like it's a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody'd be too bothered if they hunted and killed me either. But I do wonder about that stuff deeper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was there? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Better seat than yesterday, I guess. Ah, the fiction machine. A what? Uh, why? Where's it coming from? Is it from inside the house? I just realized some people might not even know what a fax machine is. It it's been a hot minute since anyone used that kind of thing. No computer. It's got from in here. Huh? What's that? Fax machine? Oh. There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where is that supposed to be? Paper with an address. Uh, uh, I, I'm waiting for you. Why did... How and... When did it... clean out and I'm sure that you didn't pay too much for that that uh, apartment so um, you know you could probably still find another one so you sleep well last night sorry you had to see my couch nah I should be sorry for coming over so late <laughs> wasn't expecting it but don't sweat it but hey did something happen you don't look too hot Oh, uh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newly buds love nest. Hey, who are you? <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. I'm glad to know a guy who... Alright. <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey. Making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. 
Well, it's not about whose fault it is. It's... I'm just not happy about it, okay? Don't let it get you down, right? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time for you to move on to new people. As if a guy get bent. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'll just... Oh, hang on. Oh, that's what it says, okay. As if a guy like me could get a date. I'm just some guy with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I want to marry ran out on me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just, uh, somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. <laughs> no, but don't actually. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? <laughs> I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. 